Hello and welcome to the £10 website video number two. In my last video I said I'd show you how to um, change the home page of your site and change some of the other settings. So let's get stuck in straight away and see how we get on. Right, first of all we're going to change the, the home page of your site. That's the button that people see when they click this the, that, the button that says home. Got all different pages on your site, page 3, page 4, but we want to set what they're going to see when they click the home page. So, first of all, cl click the dashboard button, click settings, put reading, and now here you'll see reading settings, front page displays this is your latest post now it's not a blog blogs have posts and websites have static pages so we're going to click this radio button that says a static page select below then we're going to where it says front page select we'll have page one we can pick any of these well we can pick any page on the site but we're going to pick page one right click save changes Let's see what happens, see if it's worked. Click this button, it'll take us to our website. Home page, page one. And the home page button, page one. Right, what's next on the list? Right, we're going to change the page order, the order of pages that we, um, as they appear in the, um, these buttons here. We can change the order that these are in. So that's page two and it's right over there. We don't want it to be one, it's page one, page two, page three, page four. So first of all we'll open page one. We're on page one but we'll open this page one. It's going to be a bit confusing this because uh, I've set page one as the home page. But never mind. So I click page one and then we want to go to the dashboard, pages, so click, go to the dashboard, click pages, page one, we're going to edit that, so click, if you hover your mouse over it, the little pop up will appear, click the edit button, right now, got to look for, there we go, order. This is the page order. You, all, you, you might see it at the side here, it's because I've scrunched the, the screen up so small so I can fit it on YouTube. So, page order, we'll have, this one is page one. We're gonna have that as page number zero. Um, you, you start zero as the first page, one as the second, two as the third. So, keep that as zero, click update. Now we've got back to pages, page two, edit page two, and the order, go down to the bottom, the order we want it is page two is going to be the next one which is one. Click update, go back to pages, page two next thing. Now we've done page two, we'll go to page three. Now we've got to the bottom, we're editing page three. We've got bottom of the page. Look for order, it says order there. The last two. I can't remember if we updated it, I think we did. Now right, go back to pages, click all pages. pages, edit page 4, Put the next number which is number 3. Remember we started at 0, so the first one is 0, the second one is 1, the third one is 2. Right, let's have a look at our website, see if it's changed. Page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4. So they're all in the right order now, which is convenient. 
what's next on the list. How do you delete a page or a post? Right, go back to the dashboard, go to the pages. Now if you want to delete, I was going to make one to delete actually and I've forgotten to do it. We'll delete page 4. So, want, pick a page you want to delete, hover the mouse over the page title, this is in, uh, you've got to dashboard, pages, all pages, pick the page you want to delete, we're going to delete page 4, when you hover your mouse over it, you'll see these things pop up, click trash, now there's more to be done, so if you look at the top of the page you'll see another one, you're in pages now, of all pages, it lists all the pages, look at the top where it says all, and you'll have one, one that says trash so click that button that says trash now you hover over page 4 and this pop up will appear it says delete permanently delete permanently and there it's gone so let's go back and see so now we've got page 1 page 2 page 3 but no page 4 we've deleted it you can do the same with posts it works the same with posts now there are thousands, well, <laughs> there are lots and lots of, of um, templates for WordPress. If you're using the free version, wordpress.com, um, you can choose from whatever they've got um, available. I'm, use, I'm showing you on a local computer, so it's very slightly different, but this, 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 I've tried this and it works just the same on wordpress.com. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, change the theme, or have a look at what themes are available. So let's go to the dashboard, click the button that says appearance. Here you've got different design styles, see it's different, a bit different. We're using this one, but there's, I've only, I've only put two on this one, but if you look underneath each style you can see, you'll see activate, preview or delete. If you want to change the style, click this one that says activate. Find one that you like, suppose you like this one, and then click activate. If you do change the style though, you might have to change some other settings too. So if you're brand new to WordPress, I wouldn't change it yet. But it's good to know that you've got loads and loads to choose from. Let's see what's next. Oh, add more buttons. Now then, go back to edit a page. edit to edit page one now this button here is called the kitchen sink and it, it looks like a load of little buttons on a page so mm -hmm. click that and the buttons have disappeared or half of them have click it again and they pop up again so if you don't have as many buttons as you expect it to have when you're using wordpress look for this button called the, the kitchen sink and it's, it's just a series of little dots that look like buttons there it is, there it's gone, it's called the kitchen sink. Right, what should we do next? Oh, we're going to add a photo. Now then, a lot of people want to add a photo to the, to the website. So where are we now? We're in page one, page one. We're going to add a photo to page one. So we just click it where you want to put the, the picture. I'm going to put it there, right at the very beginning of the page. And then here at the top, add an image, add a video, add audio, music, and this is to do with, um, I don't even know what uh, Adobe Acrobat files and things like that are, um, other media. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to add an image. So, we put our cursor in the page, click this where it says, upload, insert, click the button there, add an image, now I'm going to choose an image from my computer desktop. So select, put that so we can see it. I can choose from here. I'm, I've got a picture called Radio JPEG. So I've chosen that one. Click OK. There it is. Right now, here you can choose if you want it to be left aligned center aligned, right aligned, you can choose how big you want it to be, 
I'll choose a medium sized thumbnail just click a different one for a different size but if you cl click a big image make sure it fits in the theme sometimes it can pop out of the edge of your website and looks a bit daft so if it, if it looks funny just come and reduce the size of the, the uh, image here so once we've chosen 300 by 170 click insert into post or and we've chosen left aligned insert it into the post there it is I'll have to update to save it there it is we'll just click to see what it looks like in the website and now we're on page one and there it is right I've just got time to tell you how to add a tagline I think so we'll have to be quick so I've got the dashboard settings general you should be in general as when you open it up right so it's settings in general and here you are that's the site title there and this is the tagline um, you, you've got a site title and a tagline you'll probably see the tagline it, it says just another WordPress site so if you want to change that, that word that says just another WordPress website go to settings general well we'll have to leave it there because we're getting a bit near to the 15 minutes that um, WordPress limits you to I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you pop back for some more videos see you later bye